The Anabon scops owl is an owl endemic to the equatorial Guinea island of Anabon. The current population is estimated to be around 100 individuals, with the population declining due to habitat alteration and destruction. When describing the species in 1903, Tommaso Salvadori noted that the birds were abundant in wooded areas at altitudes of 500 meters on the island. Few sightings of the bird have been reported since then. The Principe thrush is a species of bird in the family Turdidae. It is endemic to Principe. It was formerly considered a subspecies of the Sao Tome thrush, with some taxonomists still considering it so. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests and subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. It is critically threatened by habitat loss. The Sao Tome fiscal has a pale yellow chin, breast, belly, flanks vent and under tail. Its graduated tail has all black central tail feathers and an increasing amount of white on outer web from inner to outer tail feathers. It has a clear voice with a whistle tia tia often repeated and metallic sink sink audible over a long distance. The species lives on the island of Sao Tome and is usually found under closed canopy. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests and subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. The Sao Tome fiscal is a very rare bird. The Sao Tome grosbeak is the largest member of the canary genus Crithagra, 50% heavier than the next largest canary species, and possesses a massive bill for a member of that genus. It is endemic to the island of Sao Tome. For a long period this bird was known only from three 19th century specimens. It was rediscovered in 1991. The current population is estimated at less than 250, and it is classified as critically endangered. The main threat is habitat destruction. Spiky yellow woodlouse numbers are in decline due to introduced species such as rats and competition with foreign woodlice. Large-scale flax farming is decimating the now reduced black cabbage tree groves that it inhabits. A captive breeding program is currently in development. Currently, there are approximately 100 known individuals on the island, after the discovery of approximately 40 to 100 individuals. The spiky yellow woodlouse probably feeds on spores and pollen. The spiky yellow woodlouse is 1 cm long. It is bright yellow and covered in spines, and it has no visual dimorphism between the sexes. Its bright coloration and spines are likely used to ward off potential predators it may encounter. The Atlantic humpback dolphin is a species of humpback dolphin that is found in coastal areas of West Africa. This species is known to be shy, it does not bow ride and aerial displays are rarely seen. The groups usually range from 1 to 8 animals, but gatherings of up to 20 to 40 animals have been observed. In Angola and Guinea, some individuals appear to exhibit high sight fidelity and strong association patterns. These dolphins tend to feed in small bays, sheltered waters behind reef breaks and in areas off dry river mouths, while traveling occurs mainly along exposed coastlines. The Atlantic humpback dolphin is known to engage in cooperative fishing with Mauritanian Imraguan fishermen, by driving fish towards the shore and into their nets. Incidental capture in gill nets is considered their greatest threat followed by directed takes, habitat loss and degradation, overfishing, marine pollution, anthropogenic sound, and climate change.
The Anjouan scops owl is found only on the island of Anjouan, where it occurs in the remaining fragments of native upland forest, degraded forest and plantations. It appears to be dependent on large trees situated on steep slopes with cavities for nesting and roosting. Little known but probably nests and roosts in tree cavities and feeds mainly on insects. It has an estimated population of less than 400. It is classified as critically endangered because its range is restricted to such a small area, which is being rapidly deforested. The Seychelles Paradise Flycatcher is a rare bird from the genus of Paradise Flycatchers within the family Monarchidae. It is a forest-dwelling bird endemic to the Seychelles. Males have glossy black plumage with elongated tail feathers, while females are reddish-brown with pale underparts and no long tail feathers. The International Union for Conservation of Nature lists this bird as being critically endangered. The threats it faces are a result of its specific habitat requirements which are incompatible with the habitat loss and fragmentation taking place on La Digue, due to increasing tourism and the expansion of settlements. The Seychelles sheet-tailed bat is an insectivorous bat, feeding primarily in forest clearings at night and roosting in communal roosts by day. Although previously abundant across the island group, it now only occurs on three islands. Its numbers have been declining to such an extent that has been listed it as being critically endangered. Increases in the cultivation of coconut palms in plantations, and the introduction of alien plant species, seem to have reduced the availability of insect food. The Réunion Kukushrike is a critically endangered species and is currently the focus of conservation efforts. Its range has declined significantly and is currently an area of just 16 square kilometers. The population of the species is currently stable but at the low number of around 50 adult birds, and is very vulnerable to localized disasters such as forest fires or habitat degradation. Introduced cats and rats prey on the species, and introduced herbivores such as deer degrade what little habitat remains. Pilot studies have shown that controlling rat and cat numbers around nesting sites leads to increased survival of chicks, and the test program of trapping and poisoning is going to be expanded. The species survival plan also includes recommendations to translocate some individuals to suitable habitat in other parts of the island. The West Indian Ocean coelacanth is widely but very sparsely distributed around the rim of the Western Indian Ocean, from South Africa northward along the East African coast to Kenya, the Comoros and Madagascar, seemingly occurring in small colonies. Between 1991 and 1994, there was an estimated 30% total population reduction of the coelacanth. In 1998, the total population of the West Indian Ocean coelacanth was estimated to have been 500 or fewer, a number that would threaten the survival of the species. Some individuals have been seen performing, headstands, as feeding behavior, allowing coelacanth to slurp prey from crevices within lava caves. This behavior is made possible due to the coelacanth's ability to move both its upper and lower jaw, which is a unique trait in extant vertebrates. Similar to cartilaginous fish, it has a rectal gland, pituitary gland, pancreas, and spinal cord. To balance osmotic pressure, these fish adopt an efficient mechanism of osmoregulation by retaining urea in their blood.